happily ever after. Does this really exist? Well, according to a new poll by Women's Day magazine and AOL, the answer for many women is no. The survey found over a third of married women would not marry their husbands if they had to do it all over again. And another 20% said they weren't sure if they would marry at all. Joining us now from Burbank is Wendy Jaffe, America Online coach and author of The Divorce Lawyer's Guide to Staying Married. Good morning to you, Wendy. Good morning, Alex. How are you? I'm well, thank you. But I, I'm interpreting all this as, as meaning there are a lot of unhappy ladies out there. So why do you think so many are rethinking marriage today? That's true, and it really reflects what is happening in the divorce world. Two-thirds of the filings, divorce filings, are by women. What's happening is you have some of the old problems like growing apart, money, and those types of things, and you also have new challenges created by the Internet. Divorce lawyers are seeing women come in complaining about husbands addicted to Internet pornography and affairs that have been started online. And you're saying two-thirds of the women now are the ones, two-thirds rather, are women that instigate divorce proceedings. Has that changed a lot? How long has that taken to change? Did it used to be men? Um, I think it used to be closer to half and half, but now you see a lot of dissatisfied women. And you also see issues that people don't really consider. For example, we have a lot of very successful women in the workforce, and when the man doesn't keep up, lots of times these women want to move on. And has that been a liberating effect, you think? Women who are able to provide for themselves so they're not so much having to be, stay in a marriage just for, say, the money factor? Well, part of the problem is a lot of people feel like the grass is greener. Many people who get divorced, especially those that have children, find out that life is not so much easier after divorce. All right, so before you head down that road, uh, apparently there are a variety of issues to have discussed about this, the, the infidelity, the honesty, the jealousy, even bedtime routines. But what are the top things people should talk about before getting married? Well, it's very important to choose right. Love is not enough. You really need to see if you have common goals and values. You need to talk about how are you going to handle money? How are you going to handle your in-laws? Where do you want to live? Does one person want to live in a high-rise in Manhattan and the other person want to live on a farm? These are very important things to discuss before you get married. Some people get married, believe it or not, and don't even discuss whether or not they want to have children. Yeah, I've people heard that. A I'm lot of time. surprised. That, that right. Kind of people thing take is, yeah. so much time planning their wedding and they don't plan enough spend enough time planning their marriages and that's really where you need to put your time and you hear over and over again you should marry your best friend true well you do need to you do yes and no you can have a best friend who's very different than you and that doesn't necessarily work opposites do attract but according to the divorce lawyers I interviewed for my book they do not work in the long run. Right. You really need to have common goals and values, and you have to realize the person you're marrying is a person you're marrying. We can't change them. They can only change themselves. And, and quickly, when it talks to maybe the fantasy thing, surveys are finding 31% of married women find the actors Ben Affleck and Will Smith that they are the hottest, the sexiest married male celebs. Are husbands having to compete with this? Is that fair? Well, I think there is a little bit of that competition that it goes back again to the grass is greener. Everyone else thinks that everyone else is having more love, more fun, more sex, more everything. And the reality is that's not necessarily what marriage is about. Sometimes marriage is doing laundry and dirty dishes. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, Wendy, we could probably talk a few hours about this, but we're not able to yeah. do so this time. We'll probably have to do a show another time. Wendy Jaffe, thank you so much. Thank you. Meantime, some startling new details.